Hello everybody, this is Thomas from Denmark talking to you about uh, lathering and uh, post-shave uh, treatment for the skin in this video. Uh, if you've seen my Hyperlather video, this is uh, partly a follow-up video on Hyperlather and also uh, I'll talk about uh, what to put on the skin after you shave. Now, the first Hyperlather video I made uh, the ingredients uh, in this uh, Uber leather was shaving cream and uh, shaving soap and uh, the final uh, ingredient was glycerin that's a fine leather um, but um, I've been shaved with a straight razor now for a little over a year and three months and uh, I've uh, experimented with different types of uh, soaps, creams and oils and uh, I have a new few tips on uh, how to make a great lather. Now, the first thing uh, that I uh, did to my lather was um, to uh, eliminate the soap. And uh, the reason for that is that uh, the soap makes kind of a fluffy, um, thin uh, lather and uh, it's not my personal preference. Uh, I like a really thick, heavy leather, like uh, whipped cream like, and um, the soap is a contrast to that. So I hardly ever use the soap anymore. Sometimes I do apply a little soap, but just a tiny bit if I do use it. Now, the second thing um, I wanted to try out was what could I use instead of glycerin uh, in my Uber leather? And, um, the first thing I tried out was uh, coconut oil. Somebody gave me a tip that coconut oil is great for the skin and uh, it's not very pricey. So I bought some coconut oil, I tried applying it to a lather and uh, it worked out really nice. Now, my first Uber lather video, I mixed uh, coconut soap with uh, citrus shaving cream, but now I've been more uh, I have refined and uh, I'd like to keep the ingredients the same scent so if I use my coconut cream I'll use my coconut oil the coconut oil is very uh, thin like it's not uh, real uh, sticky or heavy uh, it's a personal preference um, you can also use olive oil uh, for cooking uh, that's a medium thick oil I would say and uh, you can also use that in your lather if you like. Now, the oil that I have become very fond of is the pre-shave oil. Um, of course, my favorite brand, the Art of Shaving, that's no secret by now. Uh, I tried buying this pre-shave oil. It's meant to be put on the skin before shaving. Um, to, la to lay on the skin underneath uh, when you apply the lather to create a barrier between you and the knife but uh, I don't find this uh, very very nice or very useful but uh, I did try to apply this directly into the lather along with the shaving cream and there's just those two ingredients in the lather and I found that that was a real bonus um, the pre-shave oil is thick and sticky and uh, it, uh, it provides a different consistency to your lather, makes it uh, stick more to the skin and also you get a little of that barrier feeling in your skin in your lather. So you can try to experiment with this, coconut oil, olive oil, or other food oils, what you like, or you can use the pre-shave oil. Of course, uh, the good thing about the pre-shave oil is that it comes in the same scent as the cream. So I have citrus and uh, as you can see I have sandalwood and I have lavender and I have the unscented. Those are the four scents that uh, yeah, shaving uh, delivers. I'm sure there are other products I haven't tried out other products yet. 
because I bought, as you can see, many products from the art of shaving and I found out that they last for a pretty long time so I don't need to buy any soaps, lathers or pre-shave oils uh, from uh, a long time, for a long time. So, that's the one thing about the lather. It's again, it's a personal preference. If you prefer soap, you can try to put a little oil in your soap. Um, I also try to uh, apply aftershave balm into the lather. I didn't think that, that was a very uh, successful result. Okay, so now talking about post shave treatment to your skin. A lot of people will tell you don't put alcohol on your skin after you shave because it dries out the skin. Well, I'm not one of those people to say that. I don't personally use alcohol on my skin after I shave, but that's just because I have other things that I like better. You can use alcohol on your skin after you shave. If you have an aftershave or an eau de toilette that you really enjoy, and uh, you really like the scent, there's nothing wrong with applying that to your skin after you shave. The alcohol uh, has a cleansing effect and it will remove bacteria and such and if you like the scent there's nothing wrong with that. However, you must apply something to your skin after the alcohol, otherwise your skin will dry out and it won't be pleasant. So, I tried buying of course, from the art of shaving, some aftershave balm, and I tried using that on my skin after I shaved. Just take a little bit. This is just for demonstration purpose. Apply it to your skin. I haven't shaved, just <laughs> just to show you, and it's really nice. It uh, my skin tends to be kind of a little sore and a little sensitive after I shave, especially on my neck and in the front of my neck here. And the other shave balm is uh, great for soothing and moisturizing. However, I did find that the effect of the aftershave balm tends to wear out rather quickly. In say about an hour or so, the lotion would have uh, sucked into the skin or dried out and I wouldn't get that uh, soothing sensation any longer. It would only be for about an hour after I shaved. So I wanted to see if I could make a post-shave treatment that would last me for many hours after I shaved. This one. I tried using pre-shave oil as a post-shave oil. Now I found that that actually work, works quite well. There's a soothing and moisturizing sensation and it will last me a long time. It will stay on my skin for a long time. Now, and there is a but. Your skin gets oily. It's obvious that I apply oil to my skin. I apply it on my head and my neck and my face and I'll just look all greased up for a long time. I'll have oil all over it. It'll get shiny and it doesn't look very good. So, what I tried to do was I tried to combine the pre-shave oil with the aftershave balm. I did this and do this still in a ratio of one to one. I'll just simply mix those two. Rub them in my hands so that oil gets warm and gets mixed with the balm and when I apply it I don't get such a shiny look to my face. However, I do get the effects of the oil and the balm for a long time after because the oil is so th uh, thick and it doesn't dry out as quickly as the balm. Now, I still look a little shiny, however, I think that it's okay. You can use, of course, less oil or more oil to your liking. Um, but this will really stay on your skin for a long time and 
and give you that nice th uh, soothing effect um, post shave so that's the tip for today is to mix pre-shave oil with post-shave balm to get a really nice post-shave treatment I hope that you can use this and uh, as always please feel free to post any comments on this video. Thank you.